focus on corrosion, surface preparation, painting, and coating. Our pull-off tests depending on substrate thickness, humidity of environment while testing, surface temperature, type of tensile tester, speed of tensile, adhesive type, reference standards. I will answer these questions in this video. Suppose we have a three-layer paint system that has been applied on the steel substrate. Now we want to know if the amount of adhesion of the paint system to the substrate is suitable or not. If the amount of adhesion is not suitable, what is the reason? Which layer has less adhesion to other layers? Or which layer has little continuity? Was the cleanliness and runness of the surface appropriate? Is the application time between different layers of paint observed? And other questions that can be important and vital for the employer and their answers can save or destroy millions of dollars. In a project what is paint adhesion? Paint adhesion refers to the ability of a paint or coating to bond firmly to the surface it is applied to. Good paint adhesion is essential for the durability and longevity of the coating as it ensures that the paint remains attached to the substrate even under various environmental conditions and mechanical stresses. Poor paint adhesion can lead to various issues such as blistering, peeling, cracking, or flaking of the coating, which not only compromises the aesthetics of the surface but also reduces its protection against corrosion, weathering, and other forms of damage. What is pull-off test? A pull-off test for paint is a method used to assess the adhesion strength of a coating or paint to its substrate. It's commonly performed in industries such as construction, automotive, aerospace, and manufacturing to ensure the quality and durability of painted surfaces. Pull-off models. There are several different devices available. testing in terms of brand and type, each of which has its own advantages and disadvantages. The important things for choosing the type of device include the place of use, laboratory or site, the standard agreed by the project parties, The range to be tested, the type of substrate, the thickness of the substrate, the convexity or concavity of the surface of the substrate, pipe, etc. Some devices are not self-aligning, and for this reason, if the dolly is not attached perpendicularly to the surface, it may cause an error in the result. But self-aligning devices even if the dolly is not attached in a proper way or due to the lack of alignment of the paint surface with respect to if the horizontal surface has an angle. The device performs the necessary correction and the force is applied perpendicularly to the surface for and aluminum dollies are designed for single use steel dolly can have concave and convex surface, which is suitable for pipes, internal or external surfaces. Adhesive, to stick dolly to the paint surface, you must pay special attention to the type of paint and adhesive so that the adhesive does not damage the paint and compatible it. Adhesives can be one component or two component, and the curing time varies from 30 minutes to 24 hours. The amount of adhesive strength must be more than the amount required by the test based on the project specifications. Two component epoxy adhesives are generally used for industrial paints. <music> nylon plug. The manufacturer has designed special nylon plugs to prevent the adhesive from entering the space of the steel dolly. These plugs must be placed inside the dolly before adhesion to the surface in order to prevent the adhesive from entering. After the dolly is adhered to the surface, the plugs should be removed. Why pull-off test is important. Cutting device. The amount of adhesion is strongly dependent on the surface, and it varies with the change of the area. Also, so that only the bottom surface of the dolly participates in the test, and the paint around the dolly does not affect the results, 
This device is designed to cut around the dolly, and only the bottom surface of the dolly is affected by the test. On the other hand, this device causes small, micro, cracks to be created in the paint, and this operation also causes heating of the test area, which can have a negative effect on it. For this reason, its use or non-use depends on the project specifications and the agreement of the parties. It is very important to remove paint from the surface of steel dollies that are designed for multiple uses. If this work is done physically and with sandpaper, it may rub the edges of the dolly more, and the cross-sectional area of the dolly will decrease and affect the results. For this reason, an iron is designed in this type of device, which burns the paint by heating the dolly and easily removes it from the surface. Be very careful to use this device so as not to burn your hands, clothes or surrounding items. Be sure to read the safety recommendations in this regard before use. Work execution step. Choose the best part of the surface for testing. Measure the thickness of the selected surface based on the project specification. Roughen the surface with sandpaper a little to remove possible unevenness and heights and achieve better adhesion. Do not overdo it. Clean the surface dust. Apply the adhesive to the surface of the dolly and the surface of the test piece and then press the dolly on the surface until it is adhering. Use a magnet or adhesive tape on vertical surfaces so that the dolly does not detach from the surface. If it is agreed to cut around the dolly, do it according to the instructions. Open the lever of the device to the end, and set the gauge of the device to zero. Connect the dolly to the device. Aluminum dolly is connected to device 106 and 106 sixths in this way. Enter the force uniformly in up to 1 MPa per second. Write the amount of force that caused the separation or the maximum force that was applied and the paint did not separate. Three different standards are used for this test. ISTM D4541 ISO 4624 and ISO 16276 one standards each of which is used for specific conditions. According to standard ISO 4624, thin and thick substrates are capable of this test, the methods of which are different. For the thickness of the paint system less than 150 microns, there is no need for rounding. Before starting the laboratory test, the plate should be placed in laboratory conditions for at least 16 hours. The temperature of the laboratory for the test should be 21 to 25 degrees Celsius and the humidity should be between 45 and 55 percent. At least six tests should be done for the measurement area. According to the ISO 16276 one standard, the following are important. The minimum thickness of the substrate must be 10 millimeters. A lower thickness requires a special fixture. In this standard, it is mentioned that the device type, device manufacturer and surface temperature during testing should be mentioned in the report. The coating must be dry, baked in a good air circulation condition. The surface temperature should be more than 15 degrees Celsius and the humidity should be less than 80% for at least 10 days after application. The test can be done on the test plate or on the painted structure. Plate test in two different modes can be placed in special conditions before the test. The first case, one day at the site and then 10 days under standard laboratory conditions, and the second case, 10 days at the site and 16 hours before the test under standard laboratory conditions. The number of tests for the inspection area less than 1,000 square meters, three tests for every 250 square meters, and for the area more than 1,000 square meters, 12 tests for the first 1,000 meters and for the rest one test per 1,000 square meters. If separation from the adhesive occurs and its amount is more than 20% of the surface, the test is failed. The acceptance criterion of the first condition is that the adhesion between the primer and the substrate is equal to or more than the spec or agreement. Second mode, in 10 or more tests, the separation between 20 and 60 percent should not be more than one-tenth of the total measurements. Third, two-thirds of the results must be equal to or exceed the specification or agreement criteria, and the remaining one-third must not exceed 60 percent. According to the ASTM D4541 standard, the following should be considered. There are five device models. The type of device is quite effective in the test results. At least three tests shall be done. 3.2 mm and 6.4 mm thickness shows different results. If the separation from the glue is more than 50%, the test is failed.